I work all the time. I have no hobbies besides working out. If you can consider that a hobby, like four times a week, that's it. I work all the time. That's all I do. And I work until I can't work. Meaning like my output per unit of time starts to drop precipitously. And then I know that I just need to take a break of some sort. And then I usually binge some sort of television because <laughs> that's what for me works. Some people are like, I garden. That's not me. Netflix. I'm good. You know what I mean? Or dark room in a movie theater rocking. And that's okay. Like, why do I need to take their expectation of what they want? They're like, that's not healthy. I'm like, define healthy. I do as much as I can of the thing that I want to do with every minute of my day. Why is that not healthy? Why do you want me to do something that I would prefer to do less? Because I do what I do every other of the day because that's what I want to do. Almost like, how dare you cast your expectation of your life onto me? And to be fair, the same degree, they cannot work at all. It doesn't affect me. I'm a big, big advocate for destroying should, the word. Should is just like the expectation motor of like all of our psyches. You should go to school. You should get a degree. You should do this job. You should marry her. You shouldn't stay up so late. You shouldn't work so hard. You should be more balanced. You shouldn't be working out so much. You're not working out. Like it's, there's all these shoulds that other people tell us and you zoom out and then you see that it's a galaxy with a little dot of dust. It's like, should what? There is no should. Do what you want to do.